So unconscious advertising, what, what, is, what is that? So uh, let, me, let me describe it here. So digital marketers and media buyers have known for years that training an AI on a list of people who have bought from you in the past is far more effective than boosting a post based on characteristics from your profile, such as like gender and age alone. Uh, and the, the reason is that people just don't want all this information on their, their profiles, on their personal, they don't want all their personal information like on social media. So they, they cleverly leave many of the personal identity fields blank believing that they have done their part to protect their privacy. However, we know that unconscious input, like the milliseconds of watch time, they reveal the truth. For example, maybe you didn't write down your hobbies into your Facebook profile. But if your watch time, like, matches those of others that love fishing, for example, it's pretty clear that fishing is your hobby as well. Uh, even if you've never liked, commented or shared any fishing posts, or you never joined any fishing groups, your unconscious watch time, like as you scroll, that Statue of Liberty of posts every single day, reveals the truth. It's, it's very hard to hide from, hide from it. You would, you'd have to not be on the internet at all. So you think like, you know, oh, it's only what I put into the, no, it's not what you put into the profile. What you put into the profile doesn't matter anymore. Now this has been going on for years. So like I mentioned, they already target you based on very specific things like your age, your gender, and your income level. So how is flock different from what has happened before. Well, like the title, I said, let me bring it up again. The future of digital marketing and advertising is unconscious. Rather than boosting particular posts, it will be about identifying a few, just a few of your ideal prospects on the platform, and then getting an AI to find people with similar online behaviors. So the input to the system will no longer be explicit personal characteristics like your age, your gender, your hobbies. No, it doesn't need to be those anymore. I remember when I first put in my birthday info into uh, Facebook, uh, then at the time, you had an option uh, to not include my year of birth. So I explicitly said, Okay, no, I'm not going to put my year of birth into my Facebook profile. I thought this was great, because there's like this way I can protect this information on Facebook. Uh, and years later, I was shocked uh, to learn that my birth year was on my profile, even though I had never put it in myself. At the time, I thought, oh, you know, Facebook, maybe they got it from another site, like they, they went to some other site where I had put it in, and they, they had learned it from there. But I've since learned that that's not even necessary. AI can determine my age, based on my friends, and my online behavior pretty quick. It doesn't need me to put in a, like an age in order for me, like, just because you don't put in data doesn't mean we don't know it about you. Does that make sense? So it's, it's like your unconscious data, like how much time I spend looking at, you know, people of my ages, uh, posts, like pretty quickly reveals like which category I'm in. Um, as a result, advertisers like digital and marketing advertisers, they will be better at uh, discriminatory uh, ad targeting by creating cohorts of people with those exact characteristics and asking AI to create lookalike audiences. For example, if I want 
uh, people of a certain income level, well, all I have to do is uh, put people that I know that have that income level into a lookalike audience and then ask the AI to find others that have the same browsing behavior. Even if you don't write down how much income you have, it doesn't matter, right? Like you behave like other people that have that income, especially online. So this is important because even if people don't put anything in their, their profile, uh, it still should be able to find people who match that profile exactly. So what do ads look like in a world of flock or the federated learning, or I call it federated targeting because that's more, that's more an apt description. Um, ads in a world of flock will be, they'll be more targeted, they'll be more discriminatory, and most importantly, they're going to be more effective. It will be like they are speaking specifically to you or people in your exact situation.